always go into people and their needs will always be met. And that's scriptural. No, I want to, when, if Jesus ever appears to you, then he can just stand there and look at you. And then he'd give you an encyclopedia full of information. Just like, whoosh. See, there's, with God, there is, he, he's not limited to the natural mind, the natural sensibilities, the natural intellect. And he just give you just all kinds of information. And I tried to squeeze all that information in, in that little book that I've written, um, how to release, you know, releasing God's anointing. That's the number one seller in Japan. I don't make a dime off of that. I gave that to the whole, uh, to all the ministers in Japan. That's the number one seller in Japan, and uh, and then it's in Spanish, and uh, they use it as some of their textbooks in some of the Bible colleges in different countries, and uh, so we have it in English. I don't make any money off the Spanish books. We we give them all away. And so any books that we sell in English, 100% of that just goes into the ministry. I don't, I don't receive a, a dime for me personally. But in that little book, I could, have, I could have wrote 500 pages, but I just tried to condense it to what Jesus had told me. And so I'm going to condense this morning, and if you'll just do this, it will absolutely work. I want to show you how to pray with your whole heart. It's real simple. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 22, Jesus made this statement. He said, if your eye is single, your whole body should be full of light. <coughs> and so, as you, I'm going to interrogate that. I, I could spend an hour just talking about that verse, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to highlight it so you don't have to try to catch this. That uh, the word body in the Greek is in reference to uh, our, our spirit and our flesh and our mind. And the, the eye is in reference to your spiritual eye and your mental eye. And, uh, um, and so if my eye is single, my whole body will be full of light. The light is in reference to God's power and His glory. And so if you do a lot of studying on, of, of God's Word and in that, that word light, you'll find that it's in reference to God's glory. But, uh, you know, something I didn't... I'm trying to say so much because I know that we've just got a little bit of time. Uh, I need to back up. God's light is God's glory. And how I could sum up all of last night is John chapter 17, verse 20 through 21, where Jesus prayed. And do you know that Jesus prayed for us? How many believe Jesus always got His prayers answered? 100%. Because He always prayed the perfect will of God. And do you know in John chapter 17, that was Jesus' last day of prayer, and He was praying for me and you. He says, I'm praying for those that shall believe. How many believes in Him? Amen. And that means He prayed for us. Prayed for us. And He says, Father, I pray. John chapter 17, verse 20 through 21. He says, Father, I pray that the same glory that You gave Me, You give to them that shall believe. Mm -hmm. Do you know you have the glory of God? Yes. It's yours. Whether you believe it or not, it's yours. Whether you use it or not, it's yours. Now I want to tell you what glory is in the Greek. That word glory in the Greek that um, verbatimly it'll say the reputation of God. Did Jesus have the reputation of God in holiness? Did Jesus have the reputation of God in purity? Did Jesus have the reputation of God in power? He walked on the water, raised the dead, caused people that were missing bodily parts that they would grow out. He had the power of God, didn't he? He had the reputation of God. And now we've got it. Isn't it a shame that the church world, the church world all over the world is living in extreme poverty compared to what God has given us? There's a closet. There's a door. And, and it's got your name on it. And it says you've got the reputation of God. And the door is the Word of God. We just need to believe it and we need to act like it's true. And it will be true.